You're going to need 7 quarts of 5W30. I always use Mobile One High Mileage. And you'll need a new filter and drain plug gasket. Just get OEM. Alright, so to use ZFE oil change, start by removing the oil cap to speed up the drain process. Here's where the drain plug is located. So you just need a 14 mil socket to loosen that up and then uh, take it off by hand. And you can kind of see it here, but the old uh, drain plug gasket was left behind. So we're just going to get a pick and knock that off. And so we don't need the old gasket anymore, so you can toss that. And then just clean up the drain plug threads. Then we're ready to put on a new gasket. There's the part number. And it doesn't matter which direction you put it on. But just wipe up any excess oil from the pan and go ahead and install that plug. The FSM states that the torque spec is 29 foot-pounds for 2005. Apparently some model years can have a higher torque spec, like 33 foot-pounds, but mine's 29 and I don't want to over-tighten this plug. So the oil filter is behind this little door on the belly pan driver's side. Take a 12 mil socket to get those bolts off. Then there's a little metal lip here that is used to control the oil flow. So if you slowly loosen up the filter, it'll run down that lip like that. And just be patient here, wait for the oil flow to stop. But the filter is still full of oil, so you might want to use two hands to avoid that mess. Next, I'm just going to use some new oil and, and coat the O-ring on the new filter. And screw the filter on hand tight. Then grab a shop rag and clean up any oil residue. And then use that shop rag for some added friction to get it as tight as you can by hand and then put those 12 mil bolts back on the door and tighten them up. Then we're ready to start pouring in new oil. So here's the five quart jug, just empty the whole thing in and put in an additional one quart and a second additional quart for a total of seven quarts. Technically the FSM calls for 7.2 quarts if you replace the filter. Then put on the oil cap and start the engine. Let it run for maybe 20 to 30 seconds. Then I like to turn off the engine just to get a better reading on the dipstick. And it's kind of hard to tell with new oil because it's so clear, but I'm just making sure that there's no fluid above the F because that's my biggest fear is overfilling. But I can see a few bare notches right here, so we're good. And that's it. Now's a good time to start the engine again and then check for leaks.